Welcome back and hello if you're new. One of the most promising acts to come out of the UK scene, Black Peaks combine the prog bombast of Mastodon, the unpredictable nature of the Dillinger escape plan, and the absolutely fantastic songwriting ability of Deftones. However, having just name dropped three very, very big bands, Black Peaks do very much stand on their own two defiant feet. This week's review is Black Peaks with All That Divides. Kicking the album off with Can't Sleep, it's the perfect prologue to set the narrative of album number two. A track that is just as brutally heavy as it is brilliantly catchy. That showcases all the different facets of the band, but in particular, that kind of spastic, crazy nature of the band right near the end of the track. Oh, which then ups the ante, moving into the track's final section of the chorus, where that massive melody is once again reprised. The album is full of metaphorical peaks and troughs, for example the final section on electric fires, which has got a real sense of energy to it, which is then followed by a trough by the Alpen Glow Cleans of Ether. And it's here that I kind of focus on the small introductions because in Ether there's this almost very ominous bass tone that the band have picked up on. Later on on the album, on Home, there's almost a Morse code type sound. It really is these attachments that reinforce the band's songwriting and overall really push the album up to that next level tier. And it's very much relevant because it has a kind of almost quasi-dystopian feel. Every song has a fantastic sense of evolution, and that is down to the brilliant songwriting process. Having previously used clean singing on statues, the, the overall style was very much good cop, bad cop. Now there's almost more emphasis on those clean sections, whilst implementing those harsher vocals exactly when they're needed. For example, The Midnight Sun has a chorus featuring these beautiful clean vocals, showcasing a totally different facade to the band altogether and allowing Will Gardner's fantastic vocal range to shine through. Make no mistake, however, the frontman's aggression has certainly not gone. <laughs> There are also some interesting ideas that the band experiment with vocally, for example on Electric Fires, which features a more distorted vocal effect, kind of, you know, interplaying between the two different vocal styles really, really well. And again, proving Will Gardner's fantastic vocal ability in the chorus, where this soaring, soaring clean comes through, and is really kind of embellished by those heavy overtones that the guitar brings through as well as the bass. Space is also Black Peaks' hidden fifth member on All That Divides. However, one of my favourite examples has to be The Midnight Sun, where these beautiful, clean sounds and they're really spacious start enveloping Gardner's vocals. Similarly, the band pull back the reins on Ether, which might feature larger-than-life riffs, but doesn't feel overly saturated or convoluted. There's no better example of this than the centerpiece of All That Divides, which is the climactic Fate 1 and 2. The track begins from aggression, which then slowly but surely dips through and making for an absolutely beautiful and poignant ending. All That Divides also features some of Joe Gosney's finest guitar work to date. I mean, a prime example has got to be that section in Electric Fires, where we dive headfirst into this fantastic guitar piece that changes the overall tone of the track instantly. <laughs> Followed by the inclusion of bass guitar, which is arguably the band's unsung hero often pushing songs along, but also ensuring that there's enough weight behind the riffs that really packs that kind of punch that you want. Throughout multiple listens of All That Divides, 
One thing is evident is that black peaks are evolving. Playing with dynamics and holding back rather than going hell for leather. Not one second of this record has been wasted and every single moment is calculated. The band have even gone further than that and are employing string arrangements, for example on Slow Seas and the final section of Fate 1 and 2. And it is this pushing themselves out of their own comfort zone, improving not only their songwriting, their musical ability, really the identity of what Black Peaks stand for is what makes All That Divides such a fantastic and essential album in 2018. All That Divides is an album that is as cohesive as it is expansive, as straightforward as it is complex. Using division throughout the world as their canvas, Black Peaks have created an absolute masterpiece that not only bests their debut, but potentially every other album out there this year. And there has been some seriously strong competition. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to check out my weekly apocalyptic anniversaries pieces on Metal Sucks. Thank you so much for watching. Drop a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next week for another review.